What's up guys, Blake here from GodofVaping.com and today we're going to be doing a review on the Anakin Cool Fire 4 Plus. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. All right, guys, so the Cool Fire 4 Plus has been out for a little while now. This device offers up to 70 watts. It fires down to 0 0.1 ohms, but I'll tell you guys more about that when we go for a close-up. Now, most of these devices that I do reviews on, I actually go ahead and when I get the device, I'll usually take them out of the package then or wait like maybe a couple days or a week, take it out of the package and actually use the device before I do a review on it. But I've been so bagged up with all these different mods that's coming in, all these new devices that's coming in, and I haven't had a chance to actually get around to actually using it. So in this review, this is going to be the first time that I actually open this uh, package up. It's going to be the first time that I actually give this device a good look. And it's also going to be the first time that I actually use the Cool Fire 4 Plus. So what I'm getting at the current moment is what you're going to be getting. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm not really expecting too much from this device it's, you know, the devices that Anakin's pull, uh, put out, they do have a little bit of quality to them. However, they're just not updated with the times. They haven't been for quite a while. They used to be, um, uh, you know, leading the market with, say, their MVP device uh, back in the day. But those days are over. The industry, the market has moved on, and I think they have basically sat there. So let's see if that is true. Let's see if they've done something, and let's uh, dive down and take a closer look. All right, guys, so you are looking at the packaging for the Anakin Cool Fire 4 Plus. Now at the top, you can see that we have the Anakin name and logo, and just below that, you can see that the company that sent me this device uh, actually put a sticker on it saying that you can order your refills at electrictobacconist.co.uk. But being this is just a mod, uh, this sticker makes no sense. Anyhow, moving on, you can see that it says Cool Fire 4 Plus. Then it shows a little bit of the mod right here, and you can see here that it says Cool Fire 4 Plus. And just below that, it says Advanced Personal Vaporizer. Now, if we flip to one side, we have a little warning here. And the other side is a much bigger warning. At the top there is the kit. And at the bottom it says Cool Fire 4 Plus once again. Now on the back side, it once again states the product's name, then gives you an introduction and tells you about this mod, as well as telling you its many features. All right, so let's uh, open it up. So as you guys can see, there's still a clear plastic casing over this device. And again, on one side we have a warning. The other side is a bunch of symbols I don't care about, and the bottom says the name, the top, the same thing, and the back tells you the same exact thing that was on that box, telling you all of its features and all of its specifications. Oh my god, that was a slow unboxing. Let's just go ahead and open it up. So here we go, guys. Now the first thing we see here is the mod itself, and let's go ahead and just pull that right on out. And then we have a micro USB charging cable. And that is literally all that's come in this package. That's a lot of words for such little product. All right, guys, so here is the Cool Fire 4 Plus, finally. Now, I must say this thing feels really good. It's got like this texture right here on the body, and it really feels good in the hand. It also looks very sharp, and it's got a light feel to it. Now, starting from the top here, guys, we have a spring-loaded gold-plated 510 connection. And just to let you know, that 510 threading is constructed of stainless steel. Now, we don't need any place for airflow here anymore, but they still incorporated a pretty cool design here. And as you already seen on the body here, it says the name. And on the other side, there are ventilation holes here and here. So you have your fire button here, you have a screen here, Here's two adjustment buttons and your micro USB port. And if you look on the bottom, you don't see a place where you can insert a battery 
that means that this device has a built-in battery. So the built-in battery for this device is 3300 mAh, meaning you're gonna get plenty of vape time. So to give you guys some quick specs, this device can range from six watts to 70 watts, two volts to 7.5 volts, and it has a minimum atomizer resistance of 0 0.1 ohms. Now, if you click on the fire button here, you'll see that it says off, click three times to turn on. Now there's one thing I would like to point out real quick. I just noticed that this lens or this uh, little plastic piece covering the screen or protecting the screen was on the screen. So you'll wanna find something to try to get that off. And once you do, the screen will look much better. So as I said, it's click three times to turn on, one, two, three. Then it says Intercon Technology, and then it shows you your main screen. Now, as you guys can see, it shows the resistance here, the voltage here, the wattage here, and then you also have your battery life. Press that fire button, and then you can see it shows the resistance, which is 0 0.41 ohms. Now you can see the wattage right now is at 15 watts. Let's go all the way down with the wattage. All right, so six watts there. And then let's ramp it on up to that 70 watts. And there you go, 70 watts. Now, one thing that's cool about this device is that, now one thing that's cool about this device, even though it's very simple, uh, you can actually change the screen. So if you wanna change it from this way to that way you can change it back, hold both of those up and down buttons again, and then we can change it back. All right, so one thing that you need to keep in mind, you can run this in voltage or wattage. Even though wattage is most preferred, you can run it in voltage mode. So you'll wanna click this uh, minus button or the down button and the fire button together, hold them down, and then it'll change to voltage mode. Now, if you wanna change back, you just click that plus or up button and the fire button, hold those down, and it changes to wattage mode. And to be quite honest with you guys, that's about it for this device. All right, guys, welcome back. You just got a close up of the Cool Fire 4 Plus. And man, has the Cool Fire series come a long way. The thing about Inokin is they're a great brand but they're super behind in vaping. You would think that a company that used to be a leading company would actually try to stay up with the times and keep producing that nice device and nice tank combos uh, that we knew so long ago. But even though they keep producing nice products, they're very late, they're not in the right time. And for me personally, this device right here, even though it's simple and supposed to be for maybe a beginner to intermediate user, I think it was, you know, it should have been made like maybe two years ago. Let's go ahead and just see how well it performs. I want to go ahead and note first that this device is super, super light. It has a 3000, I think it, well, what was it? Yeah, let's see. It has a 3300 mAh battery that's built in, but even with that 3300 mAh battery, it is very, very, very light. It almost feels too light, like a toy. But again, let's see how well she vapes. Now the thing about this right here is that, okay, so I'm using my Cleto, my Aspire Cleto tank. It's at 0 0.4 ohms. I'm at 53.5 watts. And this thing puts out some serious power for 53 watts. I mean, it feel, 53 watts feels like more than 53 watts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bump this thing down. Let's see, let's go to 45 watts. All right, so we're at 45 watts. Let's see how well she vapes. Yeah, it performs good. It's got a consistent, very consistent uh, hit to it, almost like a DNA chip. Now, I know I can say all and uh, talk all about this device, um, about its feet, not having many features, uh, about it being light, feeling like a toy. But to me, as long as it performs good, then that's all that really matters, right? Yeah, I mean, it honestly, it feels 
it's got the consistency of a DNA chip. This is the closest thing that I've vaped so far that is like a DNA chip or closest to a DNA, DNA chip. And even though it's super light, it just feels good in the hand. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm digging the way this feels. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm all over in this review, but I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion of what I feel right now. Again, let's keep vaping it up with this thing. Yeah, it's definitely a good, good vape. I don't know. I might start rocking this. It's kind of wearing on me in this review. I don't know. It just feels good, and it vapes really, really fucking good. Yeah, I think I might put this in my lineup. I don't know. I like the, I like the way it vapes. It's just good. I mean, it, it's just consistent. It's like a, it's like one of those. For example, let me let me just give you an example here. All right. So let's say that you uh, get one of your devices and it has that power. Uh, most uh, uh, Pioneer for You devices have like this uh, soft standard and a power mode that you can set it in to give you that extra umph if you wanted it. And with this right here, this feels like it has that extra umph. It has, it's like it's in that power mode, um, just like a DNA chip is. A DNA chip, why everybody loves it so much is because it's got a consistent hit all the way through. It's just like that, that powerful vape all the way as you vape on it. There is no kind of you vape on it and then it sags down because of the battery. There's nothing like that. It's just, just straight power going straight to that coil. Just like that and it's good as fuck. I must say guys, you know, I'm digging it. I, I, I like this. I'm, I'm liking the Cool Fire 4 Plus. And not to mention it's got a, it's got a small size to it and it feels really good in the hand. Uh, a thumbs up to me for the way it vapes, the performance, the thing that you're going for. But as far as it being light, as far as the features that basically suck, I mean, I, if the features were better, like had more things to do or play around with, then I would be more inclined to say, yeah, pick this up. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. I'm sorry that it's been all over the place, but uh, you know, these devices, I don't think too much of them at first. I can be using them and it's not that great. Um, uh, this one right here, I actually let sit in the damn package. And even though it's got some of the features that I'm not too keen on, or it doesn't have enough features and it's too light, it feels like a toy to me. Even though all of that, it still performs good and that's all that I care about. So guys, if you wanna pick up this Cool Fire 4 Plus, you can go to, let's see, it says electrictobacconist.co.uk. And as always, guys, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate the hell out of it. And if you want to see more like this video, subscribe to the channel. So until next time, guys, vape on. Damn, that's such a good vape.